exportation of yellow perch and freshwater drum for reduction of zebra mussels. As Canadians, we are well aware of zebra mussels and how they infest our lakes, either by sticking to the bottom of boat holes or slicing the bottoms of feet or even clogging intake and runoff pipes by clumping at 70,000 meters squared. It can make recreational life around fresh water extremely irritating. But that's not all. Zebra mussels are an invasive species, meaning they're not native to Canada or even North America. Zebra mussels are originally from Russia and were brought to Canada by sticking to the bottom of cargo ships that brought in traded goods into North America. But these small fingernail sized crustaceans are one of the best filtration systems. They often filter out phytoplankton, a microorganism that is a large portion of a native crustaceans diet, meaning zebra mussels are starving native species. Not only that, but in the fatty flesh of zebra mussels are PCBs, methylmercury, and other contaminants that are produced 10 times more than native species per day and are poisoning wildlife. As well, extra purification allows for sunlight to reach more plants and allow for better, faster growing. When these plants decompose, they create a perfect environment for Clostridium botulinum, a very potent toxin that is known for killing wildlife. Nonetheless, the moral of the story here is that zebra mussels are bad and they need to be dealt with. Bordering Canada and the United States of America is one of the Great Lakes, Lake Erie. Lake Erie is home to both yellow perch and freshwater drum fish species. Yellow perch have chewing pads that are able to crush mollusk shells. They are also known to eat clumps of zebra mussels at a time, whereas freshwater drum have pharyngeal teeth, a plentiful amount of round flat teeth that are able to grind shells of crustaceans. These adaptations can also be found in four other North American fish species. A study has been done looking at the diet of yellow perch and freshwater drum, where the fish were extracted from Lake Erie at various depths, frozen on dry ice, and transported to a laboratory where the contents of their stomach were examined. It was noted that yellow perch larger than 150 millimeters were found to have zebra mussels in clumps in their stomach, most commonly in May. Whereas freshwater drum have to be at least 250 millimeters in length in order to eat zebra mussels. They are most commonly eaten in May and July. Both species of fish had such large portions of mussels in their stomach that they were found in clumps. With the knowledge of these two very important fish species, introducing them to different Canadian waterways and exporting them to America will reduce the zebra mussel population and benefit Canadians as well as Americans. There is a fish hatchery located just north of Lake Erie in New Dundee, Ontario called Linden Fish Hatcheries Incorporated. They currently breed rainbow trout, meaning they already have the facilities to produce and breed yellow perch as well as freshwater drum. Currently partnered with the University of Guelph, Linden Fish Hatcheries Incorporated raises eggs and fingerlings of rainbow trout that are later shipped to customers which include government-owned companies as well as services in the United States. A common problem when breeding yellow perch is size. Often their growth is very slow. Luckily with selective breeding and breeding within family lines, this characteristic can be eliminated very quickly. Linen Fish Hatchery also specializes in producing fast growing fish. The hatchery are also experts at shipping fish eggs around the continent. Normally fish are shipped in styrofoam boxes that are kept in a temperature controlled truck and linen fish hatcheries already use a custom styrofoam containers that can ship up to 150,000 eggs in one box. With the introduction of yellow perch and freshwater drum into linen fish hatcheries, more jobs will be created to look after the new fish as well as more transport truck drivers to deliver the fish to American hatcheries that surround the affected waterways. Once the fish are introduced into American waterways, they should reproduce naturally and feast on the abundance of zebra mussels and therefore improve freshwater health and increase population of native mussels. This should also reduce the risk of extensive plant growth and the risk of their decomposition. Not to mention the recreational use around freshwater will become easier and safer for the surrounding communities. 
In order to reduce the population of zebra mussels, yellow perch and freshwater drum will be bred in Canada and exported to America in order to naturally reduce the population of this invasive species.